In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Cave Story game up and running on your Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. So another week, another firmware release by At Games. This is a relatively small one, so I figured I'll just let you guys know what's new, and then we're going to jump into that Cave Story tutorial. The big things that we've got going on this week are going to be three new titles coming to the leaderboard games, and those are going to be Burnin' Rubber, Crystal Castles, and Tryout. So these are pretty fun games, definitely going to see a lot of competition happening, and I like that they keep adding to this pool. In terms of some of the other updates, we've had a few setting changes like USB playlists are no longer going to hide any of the attract mode videos that are over 50 megabytes, and they added a shuffle mode for the USB playlist, and there's a couple other miscellaneous fixes like joystick lag when connected to Bluetooth speakers and things like that. But that's more or less it for this week. So with all of that out of the way, let's switch over to my computer so that way I can show you guys how to get Cave Story up and running. Okay, so here we are back on our computer. Now I do want to say that if you're not familiar with Cave Story, it's essentially a freeware title that was released by Pixel Studios back in 2014. It's actually pretty fun and a lot of people would say it might actually be one of the best 2D platformers that's ever been made. I know that that would be a subjective opinion, but a lot of people stand behind this game as one of the best ones that have ever been released. So this is definitely one that I highly recommend to most people. If you've never played the game, definitely this is a good way to try it. More recently, we have seen this game being ported to a lot of the mainstream consoles like Nintendo Switch and so on. And that version is called Cave Story Plus. And it's important to note that this port specifically is not compatible with that version. We have to use the original Cave Story game. So to get started, we need to make sure that our USB drive that we've got all of our games on is loaded up onto our computer, as you can see mine is. We're also going to need the core, and the core was provided, as always, by Wildcoder, so big shout out to him. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel down below. Please go on to his channel, subscribe to it, and show him some support and love, because he's doing some really awesome stuff. Now this port will be available for download, I've got links in the description as always, and we are also going to need the Cave Story game data files. Now like I said, this is a freeware game or a shareware game, this is 100% free to download, I will leave a direct link to the cavestory.org website where you can go directly there and download it. The webpage is going to look a lot like this right over here, and it's important to note the version that you're probably going to want is the English translation that is pre-patched. Now if you want it in a different language for whatever reason they do have a ton of other translations there but you are going to likely need the english translation so i've already downloaded it it's come in a zipped file and i've just extracted that additionally besides the game data and the core is we're going to need some artwork or we're going to need a bezel or both now wildcoder was kind enough to provide me with the bezel that he used and it's just a simple bezel that he created himself and it looks actually pretty good so i'm going to use it for this video but essentially you can use whatever bezel you want or you can choose to use no bezel at all and then in terms of the cover art, again, that's entirely up to you. Wildcoder did provide me his, but I actually think I'm going to go with this artwork because I happen to like this one a little bit better. So we've got everything that we need. What we want to do first is get all of our game data and put it in the proper folder. So on our USB drive, we should have a content folder if you've done any of the other ports that we've taken care of, including Sega CD, TurboGrafx CD, Flashback, or any of those sort of things. So we need to go into the content folder. If you don't have this, you'll have to create one. And then inside of this, we're gonna have a folder called Ports. And if you don't have that folder, you're going to want to create that as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the ports. And then as you can see, I've got two different ones here. I've got Flashback and Scum VM. Again, you may not have these. If you don't, you're going to need to create a new folder for all of these things. I'm going to create the new folder called Cave Story, and it's going to be capital C and then capital S T O R Y. And then I'm going to double click on that. And now we need to grab our Cave Story content. Once we open it up, we're going to have all of our data, everything right in here. We're going to go ahead and drag this and drop it onto our USB drive. Now, this isn't a big file and it's not a big game, so it shouldn't take very much time at all to transfer. Perfect. So our game data is in there. We can go ahead and close that. We no longer need it. And all that's actually left for us to do is to create our UCE file. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the add-on tool and I'm going to open it up. 
And what we need to do is just put this thing together. So the emulator core is going to be this new NX engine that we just downloaded. So that's on our desktop and it's right over here. We're gonna choose our bezel art again. It's right on the desktop and our box art. We can select that as well right from the desktop. And it's important to note for box art and bezel art, they do need to be in PNG format and bezel art can't be any larger than 1280 by 720 in terms of a resolution. And for the game ROM, we're gonna go ahead and choose our file. We need to navigate to our USB drive. We're gonna go inside the content folder, inside the ports folder, inside the cave story folder. And then we need to change this from general ROM file dot bin to any file. And we need to choose this dukutsu.exe file. This is going to be what our ROM is. We're gonna hit open. It's gonna select everything for us. And for the game title, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to Cave Story. And that's more or less it. Now we're gonna go ahead and build the package. And we can save that essentially anywhere we want on our USB drive. Now I have a separate folder called ports. You can do this if you want. This is where I've got my flashback port already loaded up. So that's where I'm gonna put it. But again, this doesn't really matter. You can put this anywhere you want on your USB drive that makes sense for your build. So we're gonna save it and it's just gonna build and that's it. Now we're done. All that's really left for us to do is take our USB drive out plug it into our Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet and give this a test run. So let's go ahead and switch over to the cabinet. Okay, so now we are on the cabinet. As always, what we need to do is make sure that our USB drive is popped in and we're gonna make our way over to the BYOG section. As you can see, we've got our add-ons icon available. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And along the left-hand side, we're gonna navigate to our ports folder. And once we click on that, you're going to see we now have access to Cave Story. So I'm not gonna spend too much time. I will leave in the description the instructions for the controls, just in case you guys need them. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump into this game and I'm going to show you guys some gameplay and then we're going to wrap up the video. And there you guys have it. Now we have Cave Story up and running on our Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet. And I can tell you guys there's a lot more stuff coming down the pipeline, so stay tuned. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be sure to cover as many awesome features for this cabinet and a ton of other things as I can. So please give the video a thumbs up and again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.